Ty Pennington got his start in television in the early 2000s as the designing hunk on Trading Spaces, and for a while, he was everywhere. But after releasing several design books and building an empire, the handyman virtually disappeared. Here's why he's been skirting the spotlight. Battling ADHD As the host of Extreme Makeover Home Edition, Pennington was clearly energetic. Put the helmet on, Frank, you're gonna love it! But it wasn't until recently that he confessed he suffers from ADHD. Pennington told the Huffington Post, I see a psychiatrist. Medication has helped. It's something that's worked for me for several years in small doses. Candidly expressing how his disorder impacts all aspects of his life, he told the site, It affects the way you communicate. If you can't pay attention to someone who's trying to tell you something, they think that you may not even care. That's a wrap. After an astounding 202 episodes, Extreme Makeover Home Edition was officially canceled by ABC in 2012. As Pennington told Parade, leaving the show behind wasn't easy, saying, It's something that I'll always be proud of. The show was my family. But since then, Pennington says he's relishing the less hectic schedule, sharing, I'm trying to reconnect with my own family. Failed Revolution Pennington attempted to break into daytime television as part of ABC talk show The Revolution, which aimed to totally transform a person's life but the show flopped, lasting just six months in 2012. Co-host Tim Gunn said the show was doomed from the start, telling USA Today, "...to be perfectly honest, it was a matter of too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many ABC executives with too many different points of view." 86ing On The Menu In 2014, Pennington joined TNT to launch On The Menu, co-starring celebrity chef Emeril Lagasse. He told The Wall Street Journal, "...I love food. My brother's a wine guy, so I've been involved in food a long time." But despite his passion for the genre, the show was pulled after just 10 episodes. Community Outreach Pennington recently teamed up with Sears to launch the Building Community Together initiative, which renovates local landmarks to better serve communities. Pennington told DoItYourself.com, "...with Sears Home Services, we're employing over 1,000 people nationwide, which is great. The impact, I think, will be pretty phenomenal." And since 2014, Pennington has been quietly involved with the Abode Shelters Foundation, whose mission is to provide sustainable, quality housing to areas in need around the world. Pennington said in a 2016 speech, "...I see a huge unmet need for sustainable, low-cost housing for families living in poverty in places like Africa, but also here in America, where so many go homeless." Trading Spaces Reboot Pennington credits Trading Spaces with the entire DIY home renovation boom of the early 2000s. He told Inspired Living in 2016, "...for the first time we put tools in the homeowner's hands, and next thing you know, Home Depot stocks went through the roof. Trading spaces changed the face of DIY for sure." It's no surprise then that when TLC announced the return of the series in July 2017, including longtime host Paige Davis as well as many of the original designers, Pennington was also on board. Pennington teased his return to the series with a late 2017 post, writing, "...in a world where space is traded, Here's hoping Pennington's return to his TV roots may also serve as a jumpstart for his career, and he's ready for it. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.